Hey, it's I don't know what's arson. This is an easy to use mouseys guide. In this video, I will show you how to activate and set them very easily in a few easy steps. And I will even show you a few demos for RuneScape. You can click on the element of the summary to jump directly to the right part of the video. The very first thing you need to know about mouse keys is that you need a number pad to use them. And if you don't know what's a number pad, you can check the little picture on the screen. Many people think that you need to download something to use mouse keys, but in fact it's a feature in any Windows computer. So you don't need to download anything, it's already in your computer. Many people think that mouse keys are not allowed in RuneScape, but in fact they are allowed. So you won't get banned for using them. The thing that isn't allowed in RuneScape is macro, because when you press one button, it does multiple action, but it's not the case for mouse keys because one button, mouse keys, equals one action. Finally, you absolutely need to use sticky keys to use mouse keys, so you need both mouse keys and sticky keys. It's very important or else it won't work. And I just want to say that this video is especially about Windows 7. So what do mouse keys do exactly? Well. By using mouse keys, you can control your mouse with the number pad. This is very useful because they can be very precise and way faster than a human hand with a regular mouse. By default, the mouse will not jump, so it will simply move slowly to the left or the right or the top or the bottom, depending on your the number you press on the number pad. The mouse will only jump if the control button is pressed. And the way to press CTRL without pressing it in real life is to activate the sticky keys. If they are activated and you press the CTRL button twice, then the computer will think that the CTRL button is pressed. Forever. These are the first steps you need to do to activate the mouse keys. Later in this video I will show a video of me doing this on my computer. Now you need to check the writings. I know that my picture is in French, but it's the same exact thing on any languages. So simply check where I checked. Then follow the three next steps and check the things I checked. The last four steps is only for RuneScape players. So you need to deactivate the improved mouse accuracy. So this is mainly for the drop method. So if you activate this option, it won't work. So simply deactivate it. Congrats, you have activated the mouse keys. But now you need to work on how far the mouse will jump when you will press a button. There are two factors that affect the jump range of your mouse. And they are the pointer speed and the maximum speed. Personally, I recommend to change the maximum speed first, because it won't have an influence on anything else, only on the jump range. There are two steps to put the sticky keys and the mouse keys on. First, you will need to press 5 times on the shift button to activate the sticky keys. A good way to know if they are really activated is that when you will press for the fifth time on the shift button, your mouse cursor should become like the little picture for a few seconds. Finally, you will click two times on the control button, so the control button will be stuck. So always press. You can now use your mouse keys. Keep in mind that pressing the 5 button is the left click, and pressing the plus button is the double left click. Now I will show you in the little video all the steps I mentioned. So first of all, go on the control panel. Then you will click on the ease of access. Then you will finally click on how to change my keyboard. You will click on mouse keys and you will check everything I checked in the little picture. So in the maximum speed, you can change it to change the jump rate. Simply check everything I checked and press OK. Now you can go to the next step, is to set the sticky keys. So as I said before, you check everything I checked. 
like this and you press OK. Now for the last step, you go back to the ease of access and you will click on the mouse options. Then once again on the mouse option right there. To that you go to the pointer options, it is the third tab, and then you will uncheck the pointer accuracy. By changing the speed, you will also change the jump rate. Okay, as you can see, I haven't activated the sticky keys yet because my mouse doesn't jump when I press the button. Now I will press shift 5 times and as you can see, the cursor changed. After that, I will press ctrl twice. Now my mouse is jumping when I press the numbers. So I can move to the left, to the right in diagonal and I can click too. I will now show you two very simple examples on how to use them in RuneScape. So the first example is how to drop a certain item and withdraw a certain item in a bank. First of all, you will right click the item, then go down with the 2 button, then press 5 to drop them. After that you will do the same thing, so right click, go down with 2, then press 5 to select the option. Finally, you can press 5 once again to exit the bank interface and cook your fishes. The second demo is about dropping all your, your items in your inventory and to do this you will need to change the mouse button to only one, it's very important and it's in the option in RuneScape. So you will go on the item you want to drop and you will press 5 to select it, 2, then 5 once again to select the option, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5. Instead of pressing 5 twice, you can also press the plus button. 